All right, adding some handles to keep them cooler. With these, what you want to do is get them wet. It's about the easiest way I figured out to do them is they, they slide easier when it's wet. I'll try to put a link in the description for these. Then you position it around and turn it around the handle, get the zipper started. So you insert the zipper pin into the zipper box and pull the tab. And then just hold it in place, get it started and pull the zipper. And then the trick here is not to zip it too far, just a little bit. And that'll allow you to slide it around a bit. So you can slide it over your curved area and then position it where you want it. Now you want to make sure it doesn't dip into the water. You want, to, you want to keep it out of the water on the other end. And so what I found for a six, this was a six foot section, uh, worked really good to, to put it about two feet above the ground and just kind of keep things consistent. Pulling the zipper past the curve part is the only little bit of tricky spot. With that, you might have to pull the tape, both sides of the zipper tape, closer together and then go little by little to get past the curve spot, pull, pulling the tab as you hold the tape, both sides of the tape, closer together. And that way it kept it about two feet away from the water because you don't want it to de deteriorate prematurely. So that was perfect. And it's just a matter of a little twisting around to straighten out the pattern. And you can actually re remove the zipper Pull if tab. you want to, or you can leave it. But that's it. It's a little bit to straighten out there at the bottom, but you get the idea. I'll try to put links in the description for these. I used six foot sections for the stair handrails, and then for the deep end, I used four foot sections. I think that worked out just right. You got to be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is going to come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. Uh, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years. So if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross. So put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.
Thank you.